day. Now I'm going to say this in English. I have suffered numerous murder attempts. The people who tried to kill me include Henry Kissinger, George Bush Sr., David de Rothschild in Geneva, okay? And the people who are now at the source of the problems in the United States include Frank Carlucci, James Baker, Paul Wolfenson, George Soros, Vignu Brzezinski, Timothy Geithner, okay? These people are murderers and criminals. You need to arrest them. If they resist arrest, they are murderers. You must shoot them. You must not let these people be free. This is important. They are planning to start World War III and murder billions of people. David the Rothschild in Geneva. Don't think you're safe in your castle there. You're not. We know where you are. We know who you are. And you have this serial child rapist Pope, Pope Malevolent the 16th. Well, he's going to be dead soon. And good riddance. Satan is waiting for you. Uh, there are a lot of these scumbags now who are on the run and we've got to push. We've got to remove them from power. They are preventing humanity from progressing. They've held back technical progress by at least 100 years, if not more. They are trying to murder 4 billion people. They are trying to start World War III right now in Iran and in Syria. And everybody says, gee, I don't know what to do. Come on, it's just a few old men. Why don't you Americans put them in jail? And I'm letting you know now, there's a threat against Japan. There's a ship right now drilling nuclear bombs into the seabed off the shore of Chiba. It's called the Chikyu Maru. And if Japan is attacked again with a nuclear tsunami, then I've heard that there's going to be retaliation. They're going to sink a large rock formation in the Canary Islands, which will cause a 300-foot tsunami to hit the east coast of the United States, including New York, Washington, and Miami. You must prevent such tragedy. You must arrest these criminals. We know who they are. J. Rockefeller. George Bush. Hmm? Don't forget the, the, the gangsters in Chicago who control Obama. Don't forget Benjamin Netanyahu. And I have another thing I want to tell to the Jewish people. You are a God-fearing, good people ruled by Satan-worshipping gangsters, okay? The Israeli flag should have been the menorah. Instead, you have a satanic symbol, okay? That is a satanic symbol on your flag. That is not a Jewish symbol. Why isn't the menorah on the Israeli flag? I'll tell you why. Because the Rothschild family who created Israel worship Lucifer. They worship Satan. They don't worship Yahweh. They're not real Jews. Their real name is Bauer. They're using you. And you're making fools of yourself by going along with this insane plan. Hurry up and arrest those criminals who have taken over leadership of your society. This is not a joke. There is enough evidence out there for everybody to know it's true. It's all over there. Anybody who has done any research in the well-documented, uh, thoroughly, thoroughly uh, <clears throat> proven facts will know that a criminal gang has controlled your financial system for the past 300 years and they are planning genocide and they must be stopped. We will stop them. This is a declaration of war. You hear me, David Rothschild? Okay, you're not safe anymore. We're tired of your murderous games. I've heard that Evelyn the Rothschild, the family leader, is now quietly hiding in his castle in England. Well, Evelyn, tell your family to stand down. Tell them enough is enough. No genocide. Your family is in danger unless you stop this madness. Time is running out. I don't like to have an angry face just as we approach Christmas. It should be a time now we have the possibility to have the richest possible boom in the history of civilization. We have the technology to turn the deserts green. We can refill the oceans with fish. We can have world peace. And all that's blocking us is a few dozen old men. Please, 
Everybody, arrest them. What is wrong with you people? We can have world peace. We can have all these good things. We're just being blocked by a tiny group of old men who worship Satan. That's a fact. Please, we must save the planet. Thank you. Rich, rich. No, enough, enough. Look, final thing to say. This is not about getting the bad guys, okay? It never has been, but they're trying to get us. And at a certain point, after so many murder attempts, after so much harassment, uh, you know, telling everybody I ever knew that I'd gone insane, that I was taking drugs, going around and killing people I've known, and, you know, they've murdered more people than anyone else in history. They're responsible for World War I. They're responsible for World War II. They're responsible for the Holocaust. They killed uh, Kennedy. They killed Martin Luther King. They killed John Lennon. They killed Michael Jackson. Okay? They murdered leaders all over the world. Um, they are the worst type of gangster and criminal, and they have turned the United States into a banana republic, and they're trying to turn Europe into a fascist dictatorship. And all they have as their weapon is an illusion, fake money that's not backed by anything real. We're cutting off their money, and we're going to put them in jail. They have to surrender. We can have world peace. We can have prosperity. We can have increased longevity. We can rid ourselves of this nightmare. It's just up to us. Everybody who's listening to this, do what you can. Remember, we outnumber them a billion to one or more. Certainly, in your, even in the areas that are most infested, you outnumber them 100 to 1. Arrest the criminals you know who are closest to you, and we can save this planet. Thank you. Uh, Kim Jong-il was murdered uh, last Saturday in a major power struggle that is taking place here in Asia. The Rothschild family is trying to replace him with Kim Jong-un, who's a playboy educated in Switzerland, who they hope will uh, follow their orders in exchange for, you know, beautiful woman and fancy cars and other toys. Uh, but this is now a chance for the people in the Korean Peninsula to become independent once again. They have been artificially divided in order to be put under the control of forces in Europe. That are, there is no need for the Korean people to be divided. United, they'll be one of the strongest countries on earth. There's a chance for peace in the Korean Peninsula. And, of course, that will lead to a boom never seen before in this region of the earth. At the same time, uh, the network of North Korean agents in Japan pretending to be Japanese is being dismantled. People are being arrested. Japan is going to be free from the control of foreign forces pretending to be Japanese. And this is a chance for the Japanese and Korean people who are cousins, if not brothers, to have friendly and prosperous relations. Remember, the Rothschilds need war to control us. They need war to put us in debt. There is no need for humans to fight each other. We can have world peace. This is a chance. If a power struggle has begun, we must not give them the chance to once again put us under their control. Humanity can now free itself. The battle has begun. We must fight them on every front until there's world peace and there's an end to poverty and an end to environmental destruction. We can accomplish that within a matter of months once we get rid of this murderous, Satan-worshipping cabal. And it has started. <laughs>